Goblin Slayer Season 1 Complete Recap Let's get into it. The season begins with a young priestess joining a group of rookies who decide to raid a cave infested with goblins. Things quickly take a turn for the worst and everyone but the priestess suffers a horrible fate. The priestess is rescued by the arrival of Goblin Slayer, who swiftly kills the goblins attacking her. She follows Goblin Slayer, helping him kill the remaining goblins, including a shaman, hobgoblin, and infants. Despite the traumatic experience, the priestess decides to join Goblin Slayer as his companion. Goblin Slayer heads to the guild to find work where he is treated as an outcast due to his low quality armor and his habit of only accepting goblin quests, despite being a high-ranked adventurer. Nevertheless, Guild Girl is glad for his dedication towards goblin extermination since most adventurers avoid goblin quests. Goblin Slayer reveals that when he was a young boy, his village was attacked by goblins, who killed and violated everyone, including his sister. This led him to train himself and become obsessed with killing goblins. Later, Goblin Slayer and Priestess attack a fortress occupied by goblins, burning it down. At the guild, High Elf Archer, Dwarf Shaman, and Lizard Priest ask Guild Girl for Goblin Slayer's whereabouts. They find him and High Elf explains that their races have united with the human kingdoms to fight against the resurrected Demon Lord's army and want to hire him for a goblin-related quest. Priestess also joins their quest after calling out Goblin Slayer for not consulting her. As the group make camp, they bond before the battle. The next day, Goblin Slayer's group enters the ruins where he notices there are no totems, suggesting a shaman does not lead these goblins. The group then finds a hall where the goblins are resting. They use sleeping and silence spells to kill the goblins without alerting the others. However, their silence alerts the goblin's leader, an ogre, one of the demon lord's generals. The ogre attacks the group using his strength and fire magic, proving difficult to kill. With everyone at their limit, Goblin Slayer uses his trump card, a teleportation scroll which sends strong jets of water from the ocean to damage the ogre before giving him the killing blow. Elvish reinforcements arrive and the group heads back to the city. After recovering from his wounds, Goblin Slayer meets Priestess who informs him she has been promoted to the next rank and formally thanks him for saving her life. Goblin Slayer then receives a special Goblin Slaying request from Sword Maiden herself. Ten years ago, a group of heroes including Sword Maiden slew the original Demon Lord. Currently, the new hero and her companions have slayed the resurrected Demon Lord in another part of the world. Goblin Slayer and the group go to Watertown, where they meet Sword Maiden, now retired. She informs them that there have been some violent murders, suspecting the culprits are goblins in the town's sewer system. The army won't mobilize to fight goblins, so Goblin Slayer is her only hope. He agrees and leads the party into the sewers, where they discover the goblins have learned to use boats. After sinking a boat, the party attracts the attention of a giant alligator, which they trick into destroying the rest of the goblin fleet. As they return to the surface, Goblin Slayer is troubled that the goblins knew how to use boats, leading him to conclude that somebody had placed them there. After a brief rest in town, the group returns to the sewers. Goblin Slayer brings along a canary to warn them of any poison gas as a precaution. The party is then led into a trap and locked in a tomb. The goblins begin pumping poison gas into the room, but the canary warns them, allowing them to seal off the vents. The goblins then resort to attacking the party directly, revealing a goblin champion is leading them. The goblin champion critically wounds Goblin Slayer and attacks Priestess as the goblins overwhelm the rest of the party. Goblin Slayer regains consciousness and fends off the goblins, giving the party a chance to regroup. He then collapses from his own wounds. Goblin Slayer wakes up in the Temple of Law, having been healed with a resurrection miracle. Sword Maiden confides in Goblin Slayer, telling him that goblins have scarred her. Despite being a hero who slew the Demon King, she is still deathly afraid of them. The next day, the group heads back to the sewers and finds a room guarded by a powerful demon. Goblin Slayer uses fine flour to create a dust explosion, killing the demon and revealing a mysterious mirror. The party discovers the mirror is a gate linking the sewers with the green moon, allowing goblins to enter. As Lizard Priest works to remove the mirror from the wall, the rest of the party repels the goblin counterattack. Once the mirror is loose, Goblin Slayer has the party take shelter under the mirror while Dwarf Shaman collapses the roof. The goblins are crushed, but the mirror protects the party. After, the party encases the mirror in cement and sinks it in the river. Goblin Slayer reports to Sword Maiden, revealing he suspects she knew more than she let on. Sword Maiden admits the giant alligator is her familiar that guards the sewers, while the mirror was placed by a cult of demon worshippers. Despite knowing, she didn't do anything because she was terrified of the goblins. The group then returns home. At the farm, Cowgirl shares a moment with Goblin Slayer and tells him he should think about the future. She reflects on the fact Goblin Slayer can't kill goblins forever and wonders what will happen when that time comes. The next day, Goblin Slayer does his daily patrol around the farm and discovers goblin footprints. Goblin Slayer concludes that a huge horde of goblins will attack the farm soon. He warns Cowgirl and urges her to run, but she refuses to abandon her home. Desperate, Goblin Slayer heads to the guild to ask the other adventurers for help. They refuse at first since there's no reward, but then Goblin Slayer offers everything he owns. Sensing how serious Goblin Slayer is, Spearman and Witch agree to fight with him. Guild Girl then announces that she's posted a bounty of one gold for each dead goblin, which convinces the rest of the adventurers to join. Goblin Slayer warns the horde is led by a goblin lord, a highly intelligent goblin specializing in leadership. 
He devises an effective strategy to fight the Horde, and the first few waves of goblins are easily defeated. The Lord then sends several hobgoblins and champions at the adventurers while attempting to flee, but is intercepted by Goblin Slayer. While the veterans slay the hobgoblins and champions, Goblin Slayer fights the Lord alone, but is defeated. However, when Goblin Slayer is about to be killed, Priestess casts two protection spells, trapping the Lord. Goblin Slayer then kills him. With the farm secured, the adventurers return to the guild to celebrate. Goblin Slayer removes his helm at Priestess's request as her reward and the other adventurers are surprised to see his face for the first time. Later, Goblin Slayer and his party head into the mountains on a goblin quest to find the missing Noble Fencer. After repelling a goblin raid on the village and rescuing Noble Fencer, the group learns that her party was killed and that she was branded by a goblin paladin, using the brand to siphon her magical power. Learning that the paladin has occupied a nearby abandoned castle, Goblin Slayer decides to eliminate him, allowing Noble Fencer to join so she can get her revenge. The party disguises themselves as cultists and infiltrate the castle, where they learn that the paladin is trying to forge weapons. The party the party begins a battle with the goblins and lure them out of the castle. Goblin Slayer kills the paladin and recovers Noble Fencer's stolen sword. He then orders Noble Fencer to use a lightning spell on a nearby mountain, causing an avalanche that buries the goblins. They make it out alive. The party then returns to town where everyone is celebrating. However, Goblin Slayer stays on watch duty outside with Priestess joining him. Now you should remember everything from Season 1. Enjoy Season 2, it's gonna be hype!